Hey guys, this is Bowdy Boy. Welcome to a new map editing video. <laughs> okay, that was just me mimicking a trumpet sound. Because I don't own a trumpet. But what I do own is a copy of City Skylines. But first, I really want to thank you guys for the amazing reactions on my first episode. Especially Paco for the tweet and to the rest of you for the great response. It was really motivating to get this next video out as soon as possible. So let's get started on the second episode now. Last time we were making the outlines of where most of our bodies of water will be. And as you can see, this time we will start work on forming the hills. To make the hills, I work in steps of 24 units. As I explained in my previous video, City Skylines uses 12 units for the standard elevation of networks. But since making hills in steps of 12 units doesn't make them steep enough, 24 is easy enough to calculate with. Now I'm just slapping a new layer on top of the previous one, right until I have a mountain in a form that I like. I'm following the edges of the previous ridge pretty close. That can differ some, but not by too much. The closer the edges are together, the steeper the mountain will be when we start smoothing things out. As you can see, I can't make every small corner with a brush this big, so obviously I'll fill in the small nooks with a smaller brush later on. Now it's time to do some work off camera, and after that I'll give you guys a time lapse on how I created these mountains. I'm really quite fond of these mountains, so that's why I'm showing you guys the end result. Now that you have seen what I have done so far, we can start work on creating the side stream of our little river. It's going to have a few waterfalls, and after that I'm going to put the first water into our map. As you can see, I'm just making a little canal, and make sure it overlaps us a bit. This is to make sure the water won't flow out of the riverbed, ruining the looks of our little stream. Now let's see what happens when we add a water source. This looks quite promising actually. Let's skip some time and see how it looks when the stream has made its way a bit further. Just look at those waterfalls. They aren't too big, but if it were your vacation hike, you would really stop for a second over there. The stream looks pretty nice already. Imagine it with the finished mountains, a nice road and all the trees and rocks in place. So, to wrap this video up, I'll give you guys a time lapse. And while it's playing, I'll tell you what more you can expect. Next time the height map will be finished and the water will have settled. And then we can start on building the road network. I put in a few trees to show you guys the team and we might do a small shoreline or a riverside. I'm really looking forward to it. Well, this was it guys, I've had a lot of fun creating this video and I'm excited to get work started on the next episode. If you liked what I did, please feel free to comment and if you feel like it, you might even subscribe. Thanks for watching, have fun!